Hello, everyone. Welcome to the parent information session with an update on the Hardy construction phase. Um, as I think everybody here knows, Grant Smith, proud principal of the Hardy School. And we're very excited to be sharing this update with you this evening. Um, we'll be talking about the plans for the new building, sharing information about the construction timeline, and we'll also be sharing about plans for site operations during construction. Uh, we'll also have an opportunity at the end of the presentation for questions, and we'd invite you at any time to type questions um, where you see the tab that says questions, and at the end of the uh, presentation, we'll be reading out those questions and sharing answers. At this time, I'm going to hand it over to Emily Sarazin from Vertex, who will kick off the formal presentation. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily Sarazin from Vertex. We're the owner's project manager on the project. Uh, just going to run through the agenda for tonight. Um, so first, we'll have the team introductions. Then we'll go into the design overview and then follow that by the construction overview covering the summary schedule as well as the phasing plans during construction, um, followed by the questions and answers. Next slide, please. So from the town leadership side, we have facilities management department, we have the Wellesley Public Schools and the school committee, and the permanent building committee for the leaders. Um, the project team includes the designer, who is SMMA, the owner's project manager, the Vertex companies, and construction manager, Shama Design and Construction. Um, with that, I'll hand it over to Mike to give a design overview of the project. Hey, uh, good evening. I'm Michael Reed with SMMA, um, Project Architect, and I'm just going to walk you through the design of the project. Next slide. Um, so this is an aerial view of the existing Hardy School site and adjacent park. Um, so just to orient you, the Weston Road is off to the left-hand side. You can see the, um, the roof of the Hardy School and the access of uh, Hardy Road down where uh, is the main uh, parent drop off. And then the park is off to the right. Uh, so I think you, many of you are familiar with this, obviously. Um, next slide. So this is uh, the site during construction. So uh, the yellow is indicating the uh, footprint of the new building uh, that's gonna be built. Um, the, um, the blue arrow to the north um, is going to be indicating where the construction uh, vehicle access is off of Route 9. And I won't go into a lot of the logistics of the, um, of the kind of construction that will be addressed later. But just to orient you, um, the, the blue line to the, to the south um, kind of right hand side is, uh, will be a, a, a pedestrian access that will be maintained uh, during construction so that there can be access to the adjacent roads, Lawrence and Hickory. The orange will be the parent access will be maintained throughout construction uh, while the building's being built and the Hardy School is operational. And then the school bus access will remain as it is existing now off of Weston Road. Um, next slide. So here is the, the final uh, proposed site plan. So you can see the, uh, the white footprint of the building is the, the new Hardy School. Um, it'll be situated where the park is. Um, with, we're trying to plant a lot of uh, with the trees back that will be um, being taken out there. The, the vehicular access, which we'll get into later, but just a, a, a Hardy Road will be maintained and widened and improved. There'll be a bus, uh, there'll be a car drop off loop in front of the building and then access um, through to Route 9. Um, parking to the north off of Route 9 will be staff parking. And then be, we'll be maintaining the existing staff parking, but you know, resurfacing it, um, which is off of Weston Road. And then once the building is, uh, the existing Hardy School is demolished, we'll be then placing uh, playing fields and playgrounds in that site. Uh, next slide. So here are some of uh, the, the, the proposed um, floor plans for the school. Uh, to the left-hand side is the first floor plan. Uh, this, the organization of the building is that the main public functions are to the, to the 
front of the school. The main entrance is right in the, the corner there off to the lobby. The media center is off of that main lobby. To the left-hand side is the cafeteria, the cafetorium, <clears throat> and the gymnasium. Those are the main public functions of the building. Around the back are the classroom pods, and each grade is arranged with three classrooms around the learning commons with support facilities. And so the kindergarten, first grade, second grade, and as you move to the second floor, you have fourth, third, and fifth grade. Um, the darker green are, are special ed support spaces uh, that are, are part of this school. Uh, many uh, the skills program moving from the Upham School will be part of this uh, the school here. What you see in the purple are the art and music, and those are specialized spaces uh, for the school. And then back on the first floor, the admin is in pink. So that will be where the principal sits and uh, the main front desk and other support uh, facilities for the, the administration. Uh, next slide. So we just wanted to give you some, uh, some rendered views of the interior and exterior of the school. So this is a typical learning commons that we pointed out earlier in the, in the classroom pods. With, uh, so the classrooms will be around this. And this is a, a, a learning, a kind of co-learning space for all the classrooms where classrooms uh, can gather together for larger presentations or it can be a breakout space for individual work um, or you know, special activities. Uh, each commons has an access on the ground floor has an access to the exterior and on the upper floors they have uh, this is a window wall with ample light um, into this space. There are support facilities off this uh, small group rooms and other uh, and toilet rooms off of these. Uh, next slide. Here is a typical classroom. So um, most of the classrooms have a corner orientation. Uh, so we have a corner window with window seats um, to uh, take advantage of the views and ample light. Um, all of these uh, classrooms we uh, fitted with, you know, interactive tech, uh, screen technology and uh, voice application uh, amplification for um, the teachers and a lot of the bells and whistles. Uh, next slide. Here's a view of the school um, as it is it will be constructed, looking down from Hardy Road. So this is as you enter. <clears throat> as you can see, the entrance is a bit uh, tucked back. And so we've emphasized that with a terror element that is also screening some of the mechanical units up at the top. So just to enhance the beauty of this school. But that this main glass area is the, is the primary entry to the school. And you can see the gym off to the left-hand side. Next slide. And here are a collection of other perspective views. So on the lower left-hand side is a closer uh, view of that main entry piece with the tower element. Um, to the upper left-hand side is uh, what you would see as a classroom wing in the back. So that's the Southeast corner. You can see those corner windows there. Uh, to the upper right-hand side is a view as you would approach the school from Lawrence Street. Um, so there's a, a walkway that crosses uh, into, you can access the main entry from Lawrence. And then the lower right is the, um, the staff entrance. It's kind of in the, in the rear of the building. And there's this uh, showing an outdoor classroom uh, with uh, boulder seating and, and uh, an interactive kind of bioswale um, uh, learning space. So that's the exterior of the school. So next, I think it's on to construction overview. So thank you very much. Thank you, Michael. Um, my name is Ryan Lynch, Vice President and Project Executive with Shamit Design and Construction. Uh, we have been hired approximately two years ago now as the construction manager for this project. Um, and our team, who's going to introduce themselves in a minute, has been working diligently with members of the building committee, with Vertex, with SMMA, uh, with Grant and David and the school committee uh, with a primarily a, a major focus on safety and logistics throughout construction. I'm gonna turn it over to the team to introduce themselves and then they're gonna walk you through our plan for construction. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lauren Slavin. I am a senior superintendent at Shamit. I've been here for about 18 years. 
uh, primarily focusing on uh, the educational sector for my career at Shamit. I will be the prime and uh, the primary contact for the day-to-day -day, um, activity that's going on in the job site. Hi everyone, I'm Joe Pollock, uh, project manager. Um, built several schools with the, this team from Shamit that you have here, and I look forward to doing that on this project. Hello, I'm Bob Juber, senior project manager, uh, 19 years with Shamit. And again, Joe and Lauren and I have worked on a couple of projects and for the past two years, we've been planning for this one. So we're very excited about getting started on this one. And I'll just mention uh, Molly McCoggan, who will be uh, working directly with me in the field as a superintendent. And we're working together currently right now on our project and we'll be moving along together. All right, so we wanted to share with you some uh, key uh, milestone dates for this construction. Uh, so construction is starting February 13th, 2003. So just under a month away. Um, Hardy Road utility work um, will take place in the summer of 2023 uh, while school is out of session. Uh, we'll be starting phase two in July of 2024 and you'll see that on some of our logistics plans um, coming up. Uh, Hardy Road finish work will be in the summer of 2024 again while school is out of session. Uh, the new school turnover date is um, July 29th, 2024, and phase two field work complete will be December 6, 2024. So our primary focus on site um, is safety, not only inside the job site, um, but outside the job site as well. Um, so we always make sure that we have easy to follow signage, clear, concise signage, um, a site specific safety plan. So everybody who is on site um, is on board with our safety. And our primary focus is any dust or uh, noise control um, for anybody that is gonna be our neighbors, which uh, for this project is the, um, the active elementary school. Um, so that is our primary focus. We've collaborated with the town, the fire department, the police department, um, and everybody in the school system currently right now. So here's our logistics plan, um, and this is the traffic plan for phase one. So this is showing in yellow uh, route nine, which will be our primary um, logistics for traffic during construction. So the construction access gate will be off of route nine and there will be no trucking or access for construction on the Western uh, Road during this time. So phase one, week one. So we start February 13th, which is the week before February vacation. During this time, our primary focus is going to be on the north side of the site, where there's currently um, three residential buildings that will be getting ready for site preparation um, and establishing our temp entry into the site um, over on the north side of the site. So this is week one for us. So during week two, which is February vacation, um, when the students are off for the week, we'll be establishing on the south side of the site, a temporary pedestrian walkway that um, we'll be able to get students from Hickory Road and Lawrence Road to the existing school for operations. Um, at that time during break, we'll also be establishing a six foot high uh, chain link fence around the perimeter of the job site with um, scrim, which is a green mesh material on the fence. Um, and this will be up for the, for the um, the whole remainder of the construction. So our main purpose is we are segregating ourselves from the existing school. And again, only using route nine um, as our access in and out of the site. And I'll give it over to Grant for a second to talk a little bit about what it looks like during recess. Hello again, everyone. Um, yes, I wanna talk about during construction, our plan for how we'll um, function using outdoor spaces. 
So I want to actually start um, before we get to recess and just noting that during outdoor arrival, that we'll continue to have lineup on the basketball court. Um, there will be a path that will connect from where you see the, um, the green or teal colored outline that will go directly behind the portables to that um, area that's marked in red. And students will have the opportunity to um, use the area marked in red beyond the basketball area um, for some um, play and then for the primary purpose to um, be lined up and then we'll proceed um, into the building at arrival time. After the arrival period is done, the car traffic is um, has finished on Hardy Road at approximately um, nine o'clock, 9.15 in the morning. We're gonna actually be bringing out to Hardy Road two segments of temporary fencing. And that's what you see marked off that's being um, designated with the cursor right now. And so we'll be setting that up in such a way that we will have two defined um, areas for recess during the school day. And those segments will be up from approximately 9, 9.15 to about 2.15 um, after the last class is afternoon recess and before traffic begins for pickup. And we'll bring those segments back um, to the curbside. But during the recess time, staff members are going to be expected to be positioned at those segments. Um, and there will be, you know, again, as part of temporary fencing, a clear marking to make sure that safety um, is number one and that we can have um, proper supervision to ensure that as students are accessing that paved portion of the, um, the roadway, the, the roadway that's closest to the Hardy School building, that that becomes a safe place for play. We are planning to add a four square on the, um, the paved area outside the music room. Um, we'll also be purchasing additional ancillary recess equipment, um, everything from jump ropes to hula hoops, um, you know, Velcro catch type items. I'm also working with Mr. Guzzi, our PE teacher, who is going to be developing um, other recess activities that students can engage in in that area. In the area that's marked off in red, in addition to our existing basketball court and four square that we already have um, in place, we're very excited that we are working with um, the company Imagina Imagination Playground, and we are purchasing their 105 block set, which um, to give you some description here, these are 100 large blocks, which include cubes, brick cylinders that are made out of waterproof foam. And these are blocks that are oversized, that can be stacked. Students can climb, channel through. Um, this is a product that became highly recommended to us, currently in use at Upham and Bates. And Honeywell also um, is in possession of these tools that are currently in storage, but um, they are excited to bring those back onto the property when Honeywell opens. Um, so as you can see, we are trying to maximize the spaces that we have. Students will continue to have opportunities to run, to play, um, and to engage with their peers during the, um, the recess periods. Thank you, Grant. Um... In this next slide, it's the new construction. And as Grant um, had said, for parent drop-off and bus drop-off during construction, nothing changes for you guys. You guys are have your same routine of Hardy Road and going on the roundabout and um, in an out Western Road. Um, so construction phase happens from May, 2023 to July, 2024. Um, and this is when the major construction on the job site is happening. We're establishing roads, we're building the building, we're installing the steel, getting the roof on envelope tight um, and finishing all the finishes inside the building. So the traffic plan for phase two. Um, so phase two is the demolition of the existing school. So during this time, the construction access will be um, basically the existing bus loop that's in front of the school right now on Western Road. 
we will not allow trucking during um, parent and student drop off or pickup. So there will be blackout times for our trucking during this time um, for us to be on Western Road. And then there will also be no vehicles allowed on in the Route 9 entrance or down Hardy Road to the um, through the new school area. So only uh, in those two little blue squares inside the new fenced in area. So phase two building turnover is between this slides in the month of July, between July 1st and 29th. Um, during this time, we'll be working on finishing the finishing touches and inspections of the, uh, the new school, as well as um, establishing a site perimeter around the existing school. Um, during this summertime, we'll also be working on Hardy Road for any of the final finishes of the widening, um, any utility work and curbing that needs to happen uh, during the summertime. So we made sure that any work on Hardy Road only happens during a summertime. Um, so there's no disruption to the pattern or traffic that's needed to go up and down the road for parent drop off and pick up. The next slide is um, July 29th through August 27th. So this is the end of the summer where the new building has been turned over. Um, the staff and faculty is working on moving all of the new furniture and everything that they need to open the school. Uh, during this time, we will be isolated in the red fenced in area, um, fast tracking a section of the bus drop off loop, as well as making sure we have that um, parking lot on the north side of the existing school established for opening um, by the time school returns at the end of August. So August 27th, first day of school through the end of the project is this next slide. Um, so during this time, Hardy Road will be the primary access in and out of the site for um, school vehicle traffic. Uh, we will have turned over the parking lot to the north side of the existing building um, and we'll be finishing up the fields, playground and site work. Uh, currently, right now, we are working on to turn over the playground mid-October. Um, so get the summer in and get that playground equipment in and turn that over to the school as soon as possible. Um, so we will be finishing up all that work by December 6th of 2024. And now I'll turn it over uh, to Alex to talk a little bit about uh, circulation um, for parents and buses after construction. Uh, thank you, Lauren, and good evening, uh, folks. My name is Alex Pitkin. I'm Michael's colleague at SMMA, uh, principal architect. Uh, we just wanted to touch very briefly on what the final landscape will look like for drop off and pick up, uh, picking up right where Lauren left off uh, at the start of phase two when the school year starts. Uh, the intention here um, has been a lot of diligent hard work by uh, many committees in town, uh, uh, the FMD, uh, WPS, uh, working with uh, traffic consultants, and obviously many of you are aware of the challenges of Weston Road and uh, the need to correct uh, the so the un unsafe uh, issues of having cars parked up and down Weston uh, Road during both pickup and drop off times. So the intention here with this first slide is that the buses will move the same both in the morning and in the afternoon, but they will always enter into the site off Weston Road. It will take that loop and then they'll uh, move on into what is called sort of the lay by or the drop off zone in front of the field area. Uh, there's uh, uh, right now, currently, two buses probably moving to three, and there are also four uh, small white vans that are associated with the skills program as well. And if you want to go to the next slide. So there are two conditions for parent drop off and pick up. Here you can see the morning uh, condition. Uh, the site is uh, maximally open at this po uh, point in time. Parents can arrive uh, at the site off of Route 9 to the north or they can come in off Weston Road uh, as they currently do as well. 
uh, this will this is going to be well staffed by Grant and his team. Uh, they're well versed in how to uh, move cars around um, the school sites around uh, the district uh, currently. Uh, this will allow parents who may be dropping off and then heading east on Route 9 uh, to work uh, to be able to exit the site in two different uh, manners. They can go back to Western Road or they can exit out uh, off at Route 9. So a lot of flexibility in this at the morning time. And the last slide is the parent pickup. And this is when we really see a lot of cars stacking up. We did a lot of analysis uh, and sort of the uh, considerations for up to about 90 cars stacking up on site. Uh, this uh, really uh, requires that we close the access uh, from Route 9 and that all cars will enter the site from Western Road. And that will allow for this sort of long chain uh, to snake its way up to the staff parking at the north of the site uh, and then work its way back. And just like you do today where there's a five car stack uh, and a grant and his team will be uh, releasing children directly into the parents' cars. And then you'll be able to exit only on the Western, um, uh, Western Road. Everybody, of course, mo uh, stops moving when the buses are moving when they get up to that point. So we'll, we're gonna be back before you, uh, obviously, as we get closer to the final situation and there'll be other contact points with parents, but this is just to give you sort of a, a sense of what's ahead for the final condition. And very excited to, uh, to see the Hardy School finally uh, come to fruition. So thank you for your time. So a major goal of the project is to keep the community engaged throughout the entire project. Um, we have set up this project email, um, hardyproject at wellesleyma.gov. That will go to most of the project team on this call, uh, but the key contacts that you might receive a response from are myself from Vertex, Lauren from Shama Design and Construction, or Dick from Facilities Management. Um, we also will be posting project updates on the website under the Hardy tab. So that is at www.wellesleyhhu.org. And that is where you can find a lot of the project information or construction updates. All right, well, hopefully that was a helpful presentation um, for parents. So we're now gonna pivot to our question and answer time. And as I stated at the beginning, um, parents have the opportunity to enter questions in, type questions in using the icon um, Q&A at the bottom of your screen. Um, there have been questions submitted during the presentation, and this is an, another opportunity where you can enter in new questions now. Um, we're going to have the questions um, managed with two different individuals. We have Jackie Hoagland, who is Hardy's instructional technology person, is going to be reading the questions that have been provided. And she may cluster um, similar questions together, and hopefully the spirit of your question is captured in that um, sort of merged question that she may ask. And then um, Emily um, Sarazin, that you've already heard from, will be the person to direct the question to whoever is best positioned to answer it. So with that, Jackie, why don't you take it away and share the first question? Great. The first question is, can you share some major milestones to track construction progress, which are critical and how much float the others have? Okay, so I'm gonna send this one over to Joe from Shamit. Um, and I know you did have a milestone date slide, so I don't know if you wanted to share that as well when you're giving your answer. Somebody just asked to show that, Joe, so you might wanna pull it yeah. back up. I'll take the major milestone um, slide. So in critical path. So some of our critical path items are the um, summer work on Hardy Road. Um, so on Hardy Road, there are the main um, utilities that are necessary to support the new building. Um, so that this first summer coming up in 2023 um, is one of the critical path items for us to get the majority of those items um, in on Hardy Road. Uh, the next major milestone is uh, starting foundations. So our foundation work is um, going to be starting in May and then going into steel and then being weather tight. So weather tight um, for us is having the roof on, um, making sure that we can have uh, the sheathing on the exterior of the building so we can start our infrastructure on the interior of the building. 
So our critical path uh, currently on the project runs from foundations to steel to roofing. Um, and then that leads us into our interior finishes. Um, so that's how our critical path is showing right now. Um, and some of the other question, oh, um, what items have more float? Um, I would say in general, the, the project has a tight schedule. Um, so there's not a lot of float in general on the project. Um, some of the items that may have a little bit uh, more float would be um, potentially um, around the site because we can be doing those um, that work uh, while the interior of the building is happening because the interior of the building, the building itself is our critical path. Um, the site work will be the site work contractor will be working around the site to implement the hardscape um, in that area. Joe, I don't know if you have anything else to add um, besides that, you know, right now our substantial completion and turnover to the school is July 29th, 2024. So. Yeah, and then just, yeah, phase two work complete is uh, December 6th, 2024. But no, I think Lauren, great job sum summarizing that. So there were a couple other questions that I think really were asked prior to we got to that point in the slide. So I, I think that the, the those other questions that we have had have all been answered. If you still have a question that you have not heard an answer to, please submit it to us on the Q&A. So Jackie, unless you're seeing another question um, pop in, I think what we will um, will say is that um, we appreciate um, everyone here for uh, making the effort to come and share um, this information um, with our parent community tonight. So just thank you on the behalf of, of the Hardy School community. Um, as additional information for parents, there is active conversation um, happening right now about um, a groundbreaking ceremony that's being planned in conjunction with the Permanent Building Committee. As that's firmed up, we will share information with the community. Um, and also we'll make sure that this presentation, which has been recorded, is posted to the school website. And it's also gonna be posted to the project website. So if there are um, other Hardy families that perhaps missed tonight's presentation, please direct them to um, one of those two websites so that they can um, get this information. But I wanna thank um, everyone for attending tonight and I hope everybody has a great evening.